Good morning, OSCON. I am Hadley Beeman. I am the UK government CTO senior technical advisor, um, and I'm here to talk to you about what we're up to. The Government Digital Service is an organization within the Cabinet Office, and we're dedicated to building digital services so good that people prefer to use them. We are a series of dev teams uh, building digital public services. We are infrastructure teams building, looking after the wires and networks that everything runs on. We supply laptops and office IT uh, for civil servants across the UK. We're changing procurement. Um, we're bringing architecture and the relevant skills in-house within government, and we're breaking contracts into their constituent pieces so that we can make sure that everything is um, making the most of what technology is out there and meeting our user needs as best as possible. And we're helping government departments to grow. We're not replacing them. Ultimately, all of the UK government should be a fully digital government, so we're the change agents. We care a lot about openness generally. One of our design principles, as you see, is make things open. It makes things better. Openness very much works in our favor. Specifically, uh, open source and open standards, which is what I'm going to talk about today. But also open data and open markets, which underpins the success of everything we do. We code in the open. We publish our code on GitHub. I'm very keen to share it, and it's currently being reused by a couple of other governments around the world. We use a lot of open source software from the community. Ruby, Scala, Java, Go, Python, Postgres, MongoDB, MySQL, Varnish, to name a few. But we're really keen to make the most of what's successful everywhere else. And we think that should be the way across government. There's no point in reinventing the wheel. Um, we really want everyone to reuse what's out there. We believe that open source is stronger when it's supported by open standards for a level playing field. Uh, it means that if we rely on open standards, we can constantly change what we're using to meet our, our user needs uh, and benefit from the technology industry's constant innovation. Um, we rely on those open standards to be uh, mandated across, made compulsory across government where it makes sense. Um, and they mean that not just we, but all the teams in all the departments can switch to whatever technology is the most useful for them today, six months from today, 18 months from today, or whenever. We have a, an open process to select software interoperability standards to make compulsory across government. And this process is based on the website standards.data.gov.uk. It is relentlessly focused on user needs. That's our barometer by which we make all our decisions. What is going to make everything the best for our users? What is gonna help us choose the technology that's best for them? It's a multi-step process. It begins from the community with suggestions for where uh, standards would be ideal to, to make compulsory across government. Um, for example, a number of months ago, we received a proposal to uh, mandate a standard for address exchange, exchange of address data. Uh, responses to that challenge came from the community as well. They suggested a bunch of standards, including vCard and hCard. The Open Standards team in uh, the Government Digital Service, advised by the Open Standards Board, which is a bunch of external experts who help us out, they produced a proposal um, suggesting that vCard be the uh, standard of uh, address exchange across government. Um, and that solution has now been adopted and is compulsory for all new government systems in the civil service. We very much need you to help us set these open standards. The site is open. Um, we have uh, challenges at the moment on property and place information, uh, location point formats, quantities and scientific units, 
and publishing, publishing vac vacancies online, uh, job listings. Um, we need you to tell us what's the best way to handle those, what standards are you using in your roles wherever you are, uh, so that we can make the decision that will give us the most options going forward. So to summarize, um, you help us make these decisions. We don't want to make them all on our own. We set the ways of working for government and industry, that's you lot, figures out best how to make that technology work. Where are we going next? We are moving towards government as a platform. We want an economy of APIs that means we can reuse all of our data across the civil service uh, and uh, make as much of it open as is humanly possible. We still have 600 or more uh, digital public services to, to make digital by default. So there's a lot of work left to go on that. Um, but we can do a huge amount to improve interoperability in government, across government departments and in government. Uh, so the solutions we build once can be used in multiple places. That's the, the fundamental of the pl platform vision. Ultimately, uh, we want to get to an entire ecosystem, making the most of what the technology is good at, um, what all of you are building, the code that you're writing in wherever you are, whatever open source project you're working on, uh, so that we can build the very best digital public services for our citizens uh, and to share with the world. Thank you very much.